President Trump has declared Hawaii's Big Island a disaster zone as fears grow about the lava and smoke from the Mount Kilauea volcano. The declaration clears the way for financial assistance for state and local governments to fix roads, parks, and water pipes damaged by the eruption. At the same time, geologists are bracing for more destructive eruptions. Carter Evans reports from the Big Island. After more than a week of fiery devastation, scientists are now watching and waiting for the volcano's next big move. They say Kilauea has the potential to produce a massive steam explosion at any time, unlike anything the Big Island has seen in nearly a century. That's because lava is draining in the summit crater and could soon mix with groundwater. Janet Babb is with the U.S. Geological Survey. Do people in the surrounding communities have to worry about boulders falling on their homes? Uh, no, no, not at all, because the boulders will only be carried in the immediate vicinity of the vent. If there's an explosion, geologists say the largest rocks would land in this area. Marble-sized rocks could fall up to a half mile away, but still within the closed national park. The resulting ash cloud could be 20,000 feet high and blown across the island. Ashfall is a nuisance, but it doesn't threaten life. Despite the science behind the eruption, most people who live here believe there's more to it. According to Hawaiian mythology, Pele, the goddess of fire, inhabits Kilauea and controls the lava. People leave offerings to please her all over the island and they accept her will. Harry Kim is the mayor of Hawaii County. I feel like people are very accepting of this. Uh, it's uh, when you're close to nature and you have to be around here, you accept uh, lava eruptions as part of that. There's a price for paradise. Uh, there is a price. It really is a price. Earthquakes and lava are a way of life here in Hawaii. Kilauea has been in a constant state of eruption since 1983. During that time, the entire community of Kalapana was wiped out. So people here are aware of this volcano's power, and they have a healthy dose of respect for it. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Carter Evans, The Big Island of Hawaii.